Hey, third graders, it's Miss Hensley. I told you, I warned you, I would be back with some academic vocabulary today on Tuesday, and here I am. Okay, so we're still working on Unit 4, Week 3. Yesterday, we learned some new social studies vocabulary, and today we're going to use some academic vocabulary that we're going to add to that. Remember, social studies vocabulary is domain-specific. It means it, that means it's used most often with a specific type of words, right? It's, it's used most often with social studies. Academic vocabulary is more general than that. It's used very commonly in all types of discussions in language, right? So today we're going to be learning some more academic vocabulary. And as with yesterday, I'd like you to repeat the objectives, please. So my turn. I can learn academic vocabulary. Your turn. My turn. So I can use academic language and discussions and writing. Your turn. My turn. I am successful when I write the new vocabulary words, parts of speech, and definitions into my notebook. Your turn. All right, so we're learning some new academic vocabulary today. And again, the standards, the same as it was yesterday, L3.6, and that means third grade language standard, sixth standard, and it talks about acquiring and using, that means getting, learning, and using new words. Sometimes they're domain specific, like if you're talking about math or social studies, and sometimes they're just general academic terms. Okay, so let's get started. I hope you have your notebook your handy dandy notebook and a pencil or something to write with. If you don't, pause the video. If you're ready, let's go. All right, just as with yesterday and as with our routine that we've been going through all year, as each keyword appears, rate how well you know the word with your fingers. So you can hold up your fingers or because you're at home and there's no one to see you holding up your fingers, you can just jot a little one, two or three down in your notebook next to the word. I like that way because then at the end of the week, when you look back over that word and you're like, hey, I gave this a three. I never heard that word before in my life, but now I know what it means. Now I could give myself a one. I want you to be able to see that progress from your hard work. All right, our first word. Alternative, alternative, that's a long word. A-L-T-E-R-N-A-T-I-V-E, -E. alternative. How well do you know alternative? Give yourself a one, two, or three. Alternative, and it's a noun, and it means another choice. Alternative, four syllables, a noun meaning another choice. You've got another option, okay? There are many alternatives to generate power, right? We could come up with, you guys have seen the big wind turbines, they're wind power. Sometimes we get plant energy from plants, sometimes from uh, like volcanic energy, solar energy, water energy, hydropower, okay? Alternative, okay? Alternative just means that you have another choice. I know that's a long word to write down. Pause the video if you need. We're going to go ahead and go on. Our next word is conservation. Conservation. How well do you know conservation? One, two, three. Conservation is a noun, and it means the opposite of waste. So instead of wasting things, you're saving them, you're conserving them, right? It's the opposite of wasting something. Conservation is preserving it or conserving it, saving it, conservation. Okay. Four syllables there. You can see the emphasis on they, conservation. Conservation of animal habitat is important. Remember when we read the story about the farmers that were doing the slash burning? Or maybe we're reading that this time. I know where we read about conservation. We read about conservation with the Okapi Preserve. Remember, they were conserving the animal habitat. They were saving it, that animal habitat, so the Okapis had a place to live. 
right? It's the opposite of wasting it. They weren't burning it down. They weren't throwing it away. They conserved that area for the acopies and all of the plants. Conservation. All right. Sorry, I forgot to warn you on that one. You might need to go back. We're going on to the next word, though. And the next word is future. I better see a lot of ones and twos on this one. Ones, twos, future. What is the future? Future. Two syllables. It's a noun. What will happen tomorrow or sometime after that, right? Tomorrow or sometime after that, it is the future, right? Anything that is ahead of now, anything that is going to happen at some later point than right now is the future. Fortune tellers claim they can tell the future. I don't know about that. They, they claim that. So the future, so what's going to happen tomorrow or sometime after tomorrow? All right. Pause the video if you need. Next word. Method. Method. How well do you know method? Method. Noun. It's a way of doing something. A way of doing something is its method. Okay. So using your fingers is one method to count. If you're in my class, you know that I say that I use my fingers all the time still, even as a grown up. It is a method. It's a way to count. Okay. Method, a way of doing something. Following a recipe is one method for baking a cake. All right, let's move on. If you need to pause the video, go ahead and do that. I think this is our last word. Sustain. Sustain. How well do you know sustain? Hmm. Sustain. It's a verb. That means it's an action, right? Something you're doing to keep something or someone alive or in existence. So remember that man with that when there was the war on the Akapi Preserve, he got all of those plants and stuff and he got them to a safe place. He was sustaining that environment, right? He was keeping the plants alive from that environment to make sure that they would be there to go back. Sustain. A mother bird feeds her baby to sustain it, right? Sustain, to keep something or someone alive or in existence is to sustain. All right, that's our last vocabulary word for this unit. I hope that you'll take a little bit of time to go back and look at the vocabulary words from week one and two. Sustain is the last word for today. And I will be back with you. Well, I won't be back with you on Thursday, but on Thursday, you're going to take all these vocabulary words that you just wrote down and you're going to add them to your My NG Connect My Vocab Notebook. And then you're going to play some games with them. All right. Have a good day.